I don't where is where. Where is Jennifer? Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, we'll start with that. But if we go, for example, where do we have? No. Does Jennifer yeah. where is? This one. Where does she live? Not where is she? Where does she live? So first one. First question. Uh, does she know it? First question. And what is your relationship? Yes, good. She's my mother. She's my mother. Alright? Okay. What does she do? What does she do? She doesn't do anything because she is retired. This means she stops work because she is older than 60. So she stops work. I can say, I can say, she Now, she used to be a nurse. We're saying when? When? She used to be a nurse. A nurse when? Now? No. In the past. In the past, she was a nurse. But now, no. Because she is retired. So if we say this one, if we say used to, means in the past, yes. But now, no. For example, I can say For example, I can say I used to live in Sydney in the past. Where do I live now? Where do I live now? Well, I'm no, here three weeks. I don't live here. But now I live in London. So I was saying, now London, in the past, was Sydney, but now, not anymore. So used to means past, yes, but now, no. Okay? I used to be small, but now, I'm not, for example. Right, next one, Jennifer. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember? How, How old is she? old is she? She is, I think, 62. I think, I'm not sure, around 62. What is she doing now? What is she doing now? She is probably ironing. You know, when I have shirts like this, and I must do this, so I can say, she is probably Ironing. Now this verb here, iron, iron, this with your clothes, yeah, so you do this, it looks very nice. Iron is a verb and it is a regular verb. So iron, past, ironed, regular verb. Okay, so she's probably ironed. Um, one more question? This one. She is a man. Uh, remember? Is she married? Is she married? Is Question she married? in verb. Is she married? I can say no. She's a widow. Where is my father? Where is my father? He is dead. Yeah, not single, no. My father is dead. So, if you say widow, widow is a woman whose husband is dead. If you have man, who, if you have man, if you have man whose wife is dead, you can say... A widower. So, this woman whose husband is dead, this man whose wife is dead. So, widow, widow. Cool. Now, please, on a piece of paper which you can give to another person, mm -hmm. can you put four people from your family, four names, 
only names. For example, you could go with Chris, Bob, Tim, Anne, for example. So on a piece of paper, four people from your family it could be mother, brother, sister, auntie, uncle, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, whatever. Four people. One piece of paper. One minute. Please write. Ready? Yeah, cool. Right. Now, I will give you a number. Please remember your number. Okay? So, number one, number two, number three. Number three, number three. Okay? Number one, number two, number three. Number one. Okay, now, number ones, you can stand up, you can get together, you can exchange papers, and please ask questions about the person's family. What's your relationship? Where do they live? How old are they? Etc. Okay, number twos, you can stand up, please sit together and oh, say. Number threes, please sit together. Okay, so move around. You have five minutes to talk together, in English of course, and ask questions and answer questions about families. Okay, go. Okay, alright. So did your partner tell you anything interesting about their family? Anything interesting? Yes. For example? Uh, about uh, his family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, did, uh, his brother, 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 in cinema? Yes. In cinema? Okay, he works in the cinema. Cool, good. Anyone else? Anything interesting? Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. Actress? He's an actress. No, his brother. His brother, actress, and uh, actress is a woman. Yes. His brother is yes. an actor. <laughs> okay, yeah, nice. What about this group in the back? At the back? Okay. You, uh, Anything interesting? Yes. Go on in. Um, uh, her mother, mm -hmm. uh, his na uh, her name is Sveta, mm -hmm. and uh, she is um, uh, 43, mm -hmm. and uh, she is a teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, she lives in Yerevan, mm -hmm. and uh, she She's uh, now she's uh, going from uh, work to home. Okay, fine, good. What does she teach? Uh, Russian language. Russian language. Okay, there you go. Cool. Thank you. And what about over here, from? Anything interesting? No, really boring partners. My father's name Ave. Uh, he's. Uh, he's. 47 old? Yes. 47 years old. old. Or just 47. He's 47. He's 47. Mm -hmm. uh, he's boss. Uh, he's what? Director. Uh, he's, uh, director. Boss? boss? No, he, he's a director. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, she, uh, he's uh, interested uh, in billiards. Okay, he's interested in, in billiards. Yeah. Okay, nice. Cool. Thank you. Now, some things that I heard when you were talking. Very, very nice. But some things to talk about. So, first one. Okay, this one here. He is, for example, businessman. Now, businessman <coughs> or director or teacher, jobs. With jobs... We need to use uh, a, a, a or a. What does this mean? A or a. What does it mean? It means one of many. So we say there are many teachers in the world, 
and this person is one teacher of them. So with jobs, always, uh, <clears throat> she is going to home. Now, with home, no, with home, we don't need any preposition. We just say she is going home. No preposition. So just she's going home. Why? Because. For example, okay, we'll talk about because. All right. So let's say, for example. Photograph. Now, in English, when you photograph, you need verb. You need take a photograph. Good. You need take a photograph. Now, why? Why take? Why not make? Why not do? Why take? Because. Exactly. Now, in German, in German, you say make a photograph and photo machen. But in English, if you translate that, make a photograph, sounds like that. No, it sounds very funny. But if you put this in German, it sounds very funny. What do you say in Armenian? The photo. What do you do? Do you take? Do you make? Do you do? For example, I think someone told me in Chinese, in Chinese you shoot a photograph, which in English sounds very funny. Photo. And also, in one language, you pull a photograph. What, what in Armenian? What do you do? Um, What's in Armenian? Take, make, do, pull, shoot. No, we you say... Uh, how, does it, how does it translate into English? Right, okay, fine. So, it's different between Armenian and English, and it's different between English and German and English and Chinese. Why is it take a photograph? It is because. That's it. In English, that's what we say. Now, this is words which go together. Words which go together, we say. Collocation. Collocation is words which go together. No reason, they just go together. In different languages, different words together. So in English, take a photo. Now, here, she is going home. Why no to? Just collocation. Going home. Home does not need preposition. Work, yes. Work needs, yes, preposition, for example. So many words go together. Why? Because they do. Again, another example. You could say... Yes. Now, she is interested in sports. She is interested at sports? No. No. She is interested of sports? No. No. In. Why in? Because. Collocation. Collocation, words go together. So that means when you learn this word, don't just learn this word, learn this word as well. Two words always together. This, if you learn together, your life is easier because you can speak more easily. So, because. All right, where are we going next? We're going, right, he is living in Russia. Mm -hmm. Live is a verb. Really? Yeah, maybe. But maybe now we'll say he lives. lives in Russia. Now we can say he is living in Russia. For example, we can say he lives in London. He is living in London. What is the difference? He is, he is living now in mm -hmm. London, but he lives uh, it's your All right, so what we're saying here is uh, he lives this, one, this one is 